Okay. Let me just uh, go check on the laptop, make sure we sound good. Yeah, okay, okay, seems good, seems good. Yeah, okay. Awesome. All right, welcome back to another build through. I think it's been a couple of weeks since the last one, but I've been excited to do this one because, psych, we're doing Vader's Castle. Um, very hyped for this. Ma just massive. I don't think we can even get the whole box into frame, but it is some boy, let me tell you. Yeah, I've just realized I've forgotten my little lamp, so <laughs> I'm going to do like the fastest little dash. You guys will just wait there. Sorry about that, I am back, here we go. Just another little extra light. Because we I've lost daylight here where I am, so. Sorry about that. Okay, I'd love to show you the other side of the box too. But unfortunately, it's got one of those stupid stickers on it with my address, so I don't really want to show that on stream. All right, let me just sit down and see how that looks. Doesn't look glorious though. You can't really, the light's kind of reflecting this part, but that's Vader's tie advance at the bottom there. So that's gonna be fun. Anywho, let's do this. Um, I also forgot scissors. I'm a very professional streamer, if you can't gather that already. Okay, I couldn't even find, um, Scissors, but here's a knife. Very safe. Try it at home. That's what I'm doing. Hey Gizmo, long time no see. How are you doing? As you can see, this box is a lot easier to open than the other ones. The other boxes I just have to tear into. I might actually be able to keep this box, which is nice. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of packs. Um, I don't know if there's really an easy way to do this, so I'm just gonna, you know... Whoa! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I think that's everything. Yeah. That is a freaking huge box. Where do I even start with this thing? Um... There's the instructions. Some stickers there. This is insane. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine, Gizmo. Thank you. Feels good to be back, you know? Um, Lego streaming, I'm not gonna lie, it's actually a lot of fun. <laughs> this is like my third... This is only my third stream doing Lego, but... I actually love it. Hang on, I wanna be a bit, bring this a bit closer. Maybe. About there. There. About there, maybe? Sorry, very professional, very professional, as you can see. Um, what's kind of fun, too, is I feel like I've got more entertaining hands now. I've got a wedding ring and a tattoo. They're more interesting hands. <laughs> They're not your vanilla hands anymore. <laughs> Hope you like my tattoo, by the way. It's, it's, it's Mandalorian. It's my wedding day. I'm quite proud of it, not gonna lie. Anyway, sorry, sidetracked. Let's see. I don't know, I, I I don't really know much about um, Lego building. I, I know it's just for kids, it's not like much to know, but like I don't even know where this is going to start. This is a, a blind uh, build through, if you will. Whoa, that's so thick. It's like a freaking graphic novel or something. Hey Stratus, 
I'm good, brother. How are you? Lego's awesome. Yeah, Lego is awesome, isn't it? I love Lego. I've been doing Lego, uh, you know, since I was a kid. But I mean, who hasn't? It's the best, right? All right, let's see where we're at with this thing, because I'm hoping we get to do... Ah, yeah, I think we do. We get to do the tie advanced first, which is kind of what I was hoping for. Because um, maybe that'll do for the first stream, and then the next stream we'll build, like, the base of the castle. And then each stream will just kind of do uh, room by room. That's kind of my plan. Uh, I'm watching in the background while I do my first play of modded Minecraft. Oh, hell yeah, modded Minecraft? That sounds sick. I've just played ye old vanilla Minecraft. Minecraft's another classic that you just can't really go wrong with. Gotta love it. All right. I think there's 10 bags in total. Yeah, 10 bags in total. So we're gonna start with bag number one. Let's see. Now the instructions are massive, so I feel like I don't have a lot of room. Uh, I'll maybe put them like there. And then this is my build space, maybe. If I'll put the stickers there. And let's just see how that works. Right, bag number one. Sorry, there is just an abundance of bags here, so just give me a second. Of course, it's of, of course it's the last one that I check N naturally. <laughs> oh. oh, Vader's head. <laughs> Yeah. It's got two faces. Oh wait, no, it doesn't. It's just the back. It's just the scars on the back of his head. That's still cool though. Attention to detail. I like that. Um, said bag number one, like the Burger King fruitless guy. <laughs> the last thing you'd want on your Vader castle build through is someone else's foot fungus. Ah, uh, let's see. There's the valuable bits. Um, you know me, I like to keep my va little small bits separate. Um, let's see. I'll just put them on this side. And I hope you guys can still kind of see everything okay. I'll try not to lose anything. Whoa, what is this? There's like a little box. What do you suppose that? Oh, a little mystery box. This stream just got a whole lot more interesting. This is where the fun begins. Let's see. With my... I, why did I not just get scissors? I don't know where they've gone. Oh, wait, you're supposed to open it here. <laughs> Yo, is that the capes? It's the capes. It's the freaking capes. So, that's Vader's cape. And then you got the Royal Guard's red capes. See? I'll keep the those in the box and save them for later. I'll keep Vader's out on hand because, uh, you know. Wait, you don't build the minifigs first? Oh, you know, well, I'm just playing by the instructions and Vader is the first step. So we are doing a fig first. I'm meeting you halfway. <laughs> So let's see. Well, we found his head. There be the head. There's his cape. Um, I can see his lightsaber in there. Look, nice, nice shiny uh, paint. I like that. Um, there's the actual saber part, so we can put that together. And there's his lightsaber. Um, there's the helmet. I don't know if that's changed. I, I feel like that's different from the original Vader helmet design. I don't know if you guys can see that because it's so small, but um, I think they've actually updated the helmet design a little bit. Like the forehead part's bigger. I feel like on the old Lego faceplate for Vader, it was just all face, you know? Just had the biggest faceplate. Like it was obnoxiously big. But that kind of looks more aligned with the movie, so I appreciate that. There's the torso, got all the buttons, bleep, bloop, bleep. bleep. Um, 
What else we got? His legs. He's not gonna go far without his legs. His robot legs. Um, and that's it, right? Yeah, sick. All right. Let's take but seconds. Now, the capes, how you put those on if I remember, you just kind of slap uh, slap it on hole by hole. Like that, right? And then, yeah, fold it over and then the helmet just gets popped on. Oh, wait, hang on. Am I actually missing a piece? Because on the picture, he's kind of got like the... Uh, Okay, I guess not. I was gonna say, on the picture. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, yeah, on the picture, he's got like the little, the little, what do you call that? I don't know what you call that, but it's like the bottom half of the helmet. That goes on first, I think like that. And then his head goes on. Is that how that works? Yeah. But you see what I mean by that thing? Like the little mouthpiece that looks like one of those one man band harmonica things. <laughs> if you, have you guys seen that that edit on YouTube when uh, like Darth Vader dies, but it just plays the, um... oh, that's so cool. It fits in perfectly. It makes the full helmet. That is sick. Oh yeah. I like that is so satisfying. That is the best lego version of vader i've seen it makes his neck look super long but it, it kind of makes him a bit taller you know vader's a tall dude you know he's like he's like seven foot in the movies so like i like that his cape's a bit whoosh at the minute like it's blowing in the wind but that's kind of cool i like that it looks like it's whooshing um that looks dramatic i can put him on the top of the castle that's gonna look really dramatic well, there we go. That's the figure. And that only took me, what, 12 minutes into the stream and we've made one mini figure. <laughs> I'll put Vader uh, here so you can... I don't know. I'll put him there so you guys can still see him. There we go. Right. Um, let's start this thing. Vader's uh, tie advance. I think we're starting with the cockpit to begin with and we'll just see what happens from there. That's a cool helmet. It is a cool helmet. I am really chuffed with the way they put that together. It's so much better than the original. I can even remember it from the uh, the complete saga, the Lego video game. I can just remember Vader's helmet. The face bit just stuck out and it was so huge. Like I just, I just don't get it. Um, stuff this black piece. This piece. Click. You know me, if you've been watching my Lego streams, you know I like a click. Let's see. Oh, that made a nice little click. Oh, I like it. I hope I hope my uh, my phone picked that up because, oh, there's just something about those clicks. My goodness. Oh, I just can't get enough. I can do that all day. Do you know what would be really cool? If I could put on like Star Wars ambiance in the background. Um... But you know what, you know, copyright and all that. Blah. Missed opportunity though, you know? Okay, this is working. I can still kind of read the instructions from here. I have to turn my neck, but that's a, that's a small price to pay for salvation. I keep losing my place though, because I have to turn my head. I have to. Uh, I keep. I keep forgetting where I was. Six. Oh darn! We're putting the guns on already. Get in. All right. No messing around. Here we go. There's the guns. Let's see. And they go on there. I think on the end. Oh wait, anyway, in the middle. Just like that. There we go. I hope you guys can see that okay. Let's get in shape. Uh, I need the little smooth bits. Let's see. 
I've been, I've been wanting to do another playthrough of Republic Commando. I might have said that last stream, but I think once we've gotten through all the Legos, we'll do another Republic Commando playthrough. I was watching The Bad Batch, and I watched those episodes, you know, with the Clone Commandos. Spoiler alert, I'm sorry if you haven't seen it, but there is an episode with um, Clone Commandos, and uh, it just got me in the mood again to, to jump back in and play it. Uh, that's got to be, honestly... Call, call, you know, this might be a bold statement, but honestly, it was probably one of my favorite Star Wars games, if not my favorite. It might have very well have just been my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I honestly enjoyed it that much. It just had such a, uh, you know, it had its own unique thing where you kind of command your squad mates to go and do certain things, take up sniper points and whatever. And uh, it was just a fun shooter. It was It was challenging. It was hard, but I liked that. Like it, it made it. It made it intense. You know, you really felt like you were there in the Clone Wars. You know, you got droids all over the place, Genosians swarming you, or whatever, Trandoshians just coming in the absolute waves of hundreds, and it was great. I loved it. I love it. Absolutely love it. So I want to go back and play it, for sure. And when is it getting a sequel, by the way? Um, Vader's Castle theme. I know. I would literally just play Vader's Castle theme on repeat if I could. But when's Republic Commando getting a sequel? That's what I want to know. I don't know if we'd mess with the continuity now, but um, even still, I think they could do it. I'm hoping now with Dave Filoni as like the creative director of like all things Star Wars, you know, he can, he can make it happen. I believe in him. He's the best thing that's happened to Star Wars in a long time. Oh, I'm getting the film. We're going to get some satisfying clicks. Oh, actually, that wasn't that good. I overreacted to that one, actually. I'm lying. What I might do at the end of the stream too, I'll show you guys where I'm going to put all my Legos. I got this nice black cabinet where they're all going to go. You guys are just going to, honestly, you're, you're, get hyped because uh, it looks good. Okay, I'm getting the hang of twisting my neck. I know that sounds daft, but like, I'm so used to having the instructions here because it's not a nice thin book anymore. I've got to like, uh, multitask it. Where's that go? It goes on the top, like that. Cool. It's taking shape already. I think that's where Vader's gonna sit, I bet, right in the middle there. Um, so that, okay, I have to put this down, so that goes there. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't really have the knife in frame. That just looks terrifying if someone comes into stream now. Welcome to the, the Black Sacrament from Skyrim. Mother, oh dear mother. <laughs> I won't actually stab the table. My wife will kill me. I'm not stabbing the table. Okay, she says okay. Even if I did, she's cool. She'll be like, whatever. Anyway. Um, God, I wish uh, we got Republic Commando 2. I know. You never know. You never know. I live, I live, I live in hope, you know? Um, maybe someday. If it helps, if it helps ease the pain, I found this, uh, someone, like, made a fan level where you rescue Sev, um, on Kashyyyk. Which was kind of cool. I, I like that there is a fan base there for it. Um, so, you know, you never know. Like I say, I live in hope. Okay, that's the same, just the other way. But yes, I'm definitely going to play through it again, because my goodness, such a good game. I, I, even The Force Awakens, I thought maybe I could replay through them, because you can kind of play through them again, but still have all your cosmetics and whatnot, and that's kind of cool. It's like a New Game Plus sort of deal, um, so there is a bit of replayability there. I did try replaying Jedi Fallen Order, and this was after that update that added like the, the battle simulator, the checkpoints and whatever, and whatnot. But um, I just couldn't get into it the second time round. Despite Fallen Order being such a good game, I just couldn't uh, quite get into it. I will cream if I see that level. I know. I know. It'd be a good way to start the second game. 
you like you, you get Sev out. That could be like the first mission, like the opening. Um, it it could take off right where it left off. You, you know, you get into the gunship, and just go to a different position on Khajiit. Just go back and get him. That would be well fun. I'd love that. Um, hmm. I've lost my place. Hold on. Yeah, I've done that. So I'm here. Okay, ooh, putting some red bits on. Ooh, it's getting exciting. Okay. Let's see. I uh, need two of these little thin bits, it says. And two of these sort of triangular parts. All right. And two little red studs. Anyone watching this stream as a stud, am I right? Yeah, you, you guys know it. Okay, I wasn't supposed to put those red studs on the end of the gun, like I thought. There must be parts for that later, so I need them for the, the lights, I guess. Let's see. So this goes um, on there. Yeah, that goes there. That goes there. Oh, there we go. And that goes there. And that goes there. And then the red bits go on. Oh, wait, no, I've done it the wrong way. Shines on. So let me try that again. Ah, oh, these parts are gonna be so hard to get off too. Oh, that sucks. Hang on. Oh, how am I supposed to get those two bits apart? You can use this, right? Is that not like, you use like a wedge? I've never bothered using these before. Let's see. Oh, oh, that actually almost got it. Oh, that's amazing. You know, I wish I had those in the sets when I was a kid. My goodness, that's awesome. You know, I'm glad I actually messed this up so we could have used that. That was fun. <laughs> so it's a triangle bit that goes on first. And then that piece. And then I guess these are the brake lights. <laughs> Go on there. You know, if it turns out that all these starships have brake lights, there have been a lot of traffic laws broken in Star Wars, let me tell you. I'd laugh if that was a thing, like Vader gets like pulled over for like uh, speeding. He's got like a bunch of uh, tickets like stuffed into his glove box of his <laughs> tie advanced. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it. Oh, it's actually quite hard. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, sorry, Vader. Knocked him over. Okay, this bit isn't budging as easy. This one's putting up a fight. Sorry, I apologize. I know you guys probably can't really see what's going on. Just, just my hands, but hey, there we go. I love this tool. That is so cool. I, I don't think they had that in the sets when I was a kid. Like, you have no idea how, like, groundbreaking this is for me. There we go. Skidoosh. And we are there. Lamau, imagine if that's why the Republic officers pulled over Mando. Yeah, like, that's maybe it, you know? Like, they hand out, like, space um, speeding tickets or something. That would be freaking hilarious. Let's see, where are we at? And that could be the, the new um, Republic Ranger um, show. Like, it starts off with, like, a Republic pilot sitting with, like, a, a speed gun in the cockpit of his X-Wing, like, tagging other starships as they go, as they go past, you know? <laughs> oh, that would be marvellous. Let's see, I need one of those, one of those, and the two blue things. Cool. And they go on, oh, I went through PB, I swear my voice didn't break there. You guys didn't hear that. No one will clip that, right? Nah, I didn't think so. Thanks guys. <laughs> I think it's cause I got a dry throat. I need to go get a drink. Hang on, my fridge is literally right next to me. I'm doing this in the kitchen, you see, so hang on. Ugh. Here we go, nice cold lemonade. That'll hit the spot. Ah. A cold one with the boys. Uh, 
Oh, that's good. All right. Where was I? Um, right, I put the blue bits on and then I put these bits on there. I put these two black bits on here. And then these big round bits go on the back like that. Yeah, there we go. It's taking shape now. There we go, that's the back of it, I'm gonna presume. Uh, which is kind of awesome. Let's see, um, next step. Just putting like some more detailing on the, the butt of the ship, I guess. Because Vader's has that shape, it's not like a regular TIE fighter, you know, it has like a big fat butt end, doesn't it? And kind of sleeker wings. It's one of my favorite starships, actually. I love it. Um, one of my favorite scenes in Star Wars Rebels. Not my favorite show. I'm not gonna pretend like I like that show very much. However, there is this brilliant scene in Rebels where Vader just takes on like a whole Rebel fleet on his own. And it's, ah, oh, it's freaking awesome. I love it. My wife just gave me the death stare there when I said uh, Rebels isn't my favorite show. She loves Rebels. It's amazing. It, no, it is. It, ha <laughs> it has amazing moments. I'll give you that. <laughs> This, this is now going to turn into a, uh, a Rebels debate. <laughs> I can't see this one piece that I need. I need another piece like that vent, but I can't... Oh, wait, I see it. <laughs> Hiding under that bit. There we go. That's what half the streams are, to be honest. It's just me trying to find the pieces. It's the hardest part for my little brain. Um, I'm up to date there. Oh, I need a little gray bit. There we go. I mean, I, Legos are designed for kids, but I swear I actually struggle sometimes <laughs> to follow the instructions. Sometimes they just look kind of weird. But she can't even argue about how dumb Yoda looks. Yeah, no, I know, I know, I know. I remember seeing that and I just laughed. I honestly just laughed. He looks like a... A little dried up green raisin, like with a bit of like white jizz on his head. Like it doesn't even look like hair. It looks like, uh, it just looks like cum. I'm sorry. I know that's disgusting, but that's all I see. Uh, he's just like an old grape with, 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 you know, let's say ectoplasm because it's more PG, but, um, yeah. Um, great job. And it's a shame, right? I remember when they announced that show and they're like, ah. Oh, where the, 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 the art style, it's going to be based off of Ralph McClory, McClory, I can't, McClory, that's his name, right? The guy that done all the concept art for Star Wars, we're going to base it off of, off of his art style. And I was like, hell yeah, that sounds well sick. You know, Dave Filoni, when he done the Clone Wars, he kind of had this nice, like, painted texture on all the characters. It was a really nice uh, creative choice. It looks lovely. So I had, like big expectations. I was like, if they add that painting texture onto like a lot of Ralph McClory's stuff, um, I apologize, I'm getting his name wrong, but that's just like an epic combo, right? I was like so hyped, but it just looks like a piece of shit. Like, oh, maybe it's not the art style, but definitely the character design just flop at every corner. I can't think of a character design that I actually like. Like, maybe Captain Rex, actually. I like the kind of, uh, I like what they've done with his clone armor, actually. And I don't like the skinny lightsabers either. I like, a, I prefer a chunky lightsaber. Uh, I don't know what they were going for with the skinny lightsabers. Again, I know it's supposed to look like the, the concept art, but they didn't even look that skinny in the concept art. I remember looking at some of it. I looked at the concept art where, like, there's this figure with, like, a white lightsaber fighting, uh, Vader. Your know, Vader looks much the same, you know. Um, but yeah, I just, I just, I just don't get it. Anyway, ran over. I actually ran about Rebels uh, for, for quite a while. Um, and I've missed a step looking at this. This should be, that should be on there. Um, I'm going to have to go back 
a step. Actually, no, I don't. I think it's fine. I think I just need to put these little bits on here. Oh, these little bits, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, guys, I need to burp. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I couldn't hold it. I'm not being very gentleman-like today. I do apologize. Nah, I don't really care. <laughs> oh my gosh. That lemonade cold is just magic. Okay. Where are we at? Um, oh, we're putting some nice smooth bits on now. It's, it's definitely getting some more shape. So that goes on there. Oh wait, hang on, I've done something, something wrong here. Um, those gray bits are supposed to be kind of going over the edge. Uh, I might need this orange thing again. Thank goodness for this orange thing. Oh, gosh. Sorry, I've made a lot of mistakes already. This is probably um, the worst I've done on stream so far. Not gonna lie. Are we 30 minutes in? We're 30 minutes in? I've, I've barely finished it. All right. It's not the piece I wanted. <laughs> Should I just do it like how I've done it with a kid and use my teeth? Nah, that doesn't work. I think my teeth will fall out before I get the Lego off. Oh, okay, I got it. There we go. It's supposed to be like that, like over the edge. See, I've kind of put it over one too far. I'm gonna fix that real quick. Who, oh, by the way, you know, speaking of being a kid and Legos, when I was a kid, and I'm, I must have been like younger than 10 years old. I don't know how young I would have been. But wasn't chewing on Lego tires like the best thing ever when you were a kid? There was something about chewing on a Lego tire <laughs> that just hit different, you know what I mean? I can remember chewing on all of them. It kind of backfired though, because I, I remember we had like the little police car Lego set and when you tried to actually put the... Uh, when you actually tried to put the wheels on, it just, it just wouldn't work, obviously, because, um, you know, you've chewed them to bits. They're like square shape, because you've chewed them that much. I can't get this bit off. That is so difficult. This part's just been an absolute bitch. Ah! I'll get there eventually. See, th these are made for like kids seven up, I think. I, I couldn't see a kid at seven years old getting this off if they made a mistake. They definitely have to ask uh, mom or dad to help, you know what I mean? And even then, I can't do it. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I'm trying to think if there's a better, you know what, I do have that knife. This is where it all goes wrong. That worked perfectly, are you kidding me? All right, kids, seven-year-old kids, if you're watching this, grab the biggest knife in the kitchen and use that. It done it in one hit. That's the way to go. Sweet, so that goes on there, and that goes on there. Ah, I dropped it. On there, sorry. And that goes on there. There we go. Oh, also, if you're watching on YouTube, this this one will also be uploaded to YouTube. So hello, YouTube, if you're watching from there. Although you should be on here on Twitch. Catch it live. That's where it's at, you know? That's when I've got the knife out and could cut myself at any moment. That's tension. It's good, it's good television, you know? Uh, okay. Right, now that I've caught up on all my mistakes, where <laughs> where were we? Oh yeah, these little smooth bits. Oh my gosh, I'm so far behind. I'll try and pick up the pace a little bit. Let's see. I'll just whiz through this real quick. These next parts look a bit easier, actually. 
some bigger pieces. It's just a lot of small fiddly pieces. That, that that's all. That's all it is really. Uh oh gosh, where the where do they go? Um on there. Um Oh, uh, I need to put these triangle bits on there as well. Yeah, that's why that didn't look right. Yeah, that's it now. Um, see, as you can tell, I am not an experienced Lego builder. I am very much a noob at this. Although we won't be. After building this bad boy, definitely not. Oh, there's a third one that goes on there. Three of these. Uh, one goes on there. One goes on there. And one goes on. Ah, one goes on there. There we go. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Next stage. Nice. It's coming together now. Um. I think we're almost done with this first bit. Uh, oh, I see that goes on there. Okay, very clever. All right, that's coming together nicely. I see, I see. I'm being a bit cautious now. I don't trust myself after the last few mistakes I've made. I'm kind of like uh, cautiously optimistic about this whole operation. I said, oh, that was a good click. Well, hopefully we'll get a good click, you ready? That was good. That was a really good click. That was the best click this stream. For sure. There you go. You can kind of see the back of it taking shape now. It's even got the little red lights there. It's, it's yeah, it's looking good. It's got this little hook here. I don't really know what that's going to be for yet, but I'll imagine we'll find out. And I bet Vader sits in there, for sure. Yeah, all right. Oh, what am I doing? I'm not even done with it. <laughs> That's not even it. I'm such an idiot. Um, oh, cool. Right, okay. Okay, two... There's, they're all such small pieces, though. That's the only thing I will say so far. It's quite hard about this build is um, all the pieces are really small. A lot of small, delicate pieces. Two of those, okay. Um, what I should really do, the instructions actually make it easy for you. Each stage, it tells you what pieces you'll need. I should get into the habit of uh, grabbing the pieces that I need first and then build. I just kind of grab from the pile and just go. Um, but I should do it like this. So those are the parts that I need. I should put them separate like that and then begin the stage. And then that way it makes it harder for me to actually mess it up. You know what I mean? So that goes on there. That goes on there. Give it a bit more shape. I like it. And two of those boys. There we go. Excellent. Okay, again, right. Let's get into the habit. Okay, so we need one small little piece there like that. We need... Two of those little weird curvy bits. I like those parts that are kind of cool. So two of those. All right. And two flat ones of those. Um, wait, hang on. So that and that and that and that, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Cool. And they go on the top. Okay, this is going to give the ship a nice smooth shape. Like a ball. I guess all the TIE fighters are like that. They kind of all have like a ball shape for the cockpit, don't they? Most of them. So see, that makes it kind of nice and round on the top there. I like that. Nice and smooth. 
And that bit goes on the tippy top. There we go. Okay, now we need one of these bits. One of these bits. One of these bits and one of those bits. And two of those bits. There we go. This is the strategy for sure. I, I, I'm gonna... This is definitely the way. This is the way. This is how you're supposed to do it for sure. I can just like feel a difference. Right, okay, so we have to build little thingies, like so. We're gonna do that twice, and then that goes onto the blue bits. That's what the blue bits are for, so they get slapped on the side like that, and that gives it a bit more shape. I like that, it's cool. You know what, I'm gonna go on a rant. Um, this feels like a good time to rant. I was playing um, Sea of Thieves, right? So they brought out this new um, Pirate's Life update, which is, it's about Captain Jack Sparrow. You know, you, you've seen, you, you guys have seen Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Surely. Captain Jack Sparrow, Davy Jones, it's got the whole nine yards, right? I played the first chapter of the mission and it was actually awesome. And I'm not even the biggest fan of Sea of Thieves. Like I, I, I like it. Like I can hop on it every now and again and have fun with my mates. Anyway, I gave the pirate's life a shot with my wife and we got to the second chapter and it is the most bugged out piece of crap I've ever played. My goodness, it was just so broken. Like, on the second mission, for some reason, you're supposed to kill, like, these sirens, right? And the sirens drop a siren heart so you can put it into the statue. And, um... We just could not get that, um... That, that stone to drop to put in the statue it was just... It was ridiculous. We tried restarting the quest and it, and it didn't work. And I tried looking online, there was no answers. It's just like a bug, which is a shame, right? It was like the first time I seen Sea of Thieves have like a, like a story, right? Like I had a natural kind of like story going on with Captain Jack Sparrow and all that. You had to like reclaim the pearl from the depths and whatnot. It was kind of cool. I was actually enjoying it, but the, you know, the first time I started to get into Sea of Thieves, like I actually enjoyed it for once, which is quite rare. I never really, really get into it like I say it's not my favorite game I just kind of play it every once like maybe like once every like five months or something I don't know um but yeah just ah oh gosh it sucked sucked so hard so if if you're thinking about playing Sea of Thieves the new update don't bother it is bugged out and doesn't work and uh well I suppose, I suppose you might get luckier than me and it'll work and you might have fun but I I didn't I'm not going to pretend like uh, it wasn't, like, really annoying. Because it takes so long too, right? You have to sail so far out, right? Because the game doesn't even spawn you next to the, um, the mission area. You get spawned on, like, a random island. Then you've got to sail all the way out there. And then you have to swim to the bottom of the ocean. You have to, like, follow a wreckage to the bottom of the ocean. And then you kind of get, like, the air bubbles when you're down there. So you, by the time you've done all that, it's about, like, half an hour just to get there. And then about 20 minutes to get through the puzzles and the mission to get to that last part where it glitches. And it's just a freaking nightmare, like, honestly. Um, can't even believe it. But like I say, it's a shame because it looks like the most effort they've ever put into that game. You know, like it had like, uh, it had all, you know, had the most uh, kind of story feel to it. You know, I feel like a lot of Sea of Thieves, it's just like grab a contract, go complete it. And that's kind of it. But it had like an actual story going on and it was interesting and it, it just... It basically waved like a nice tasty cake in front of my face. I was like, oh, this looks lovely. And then it just proceeded to smear my face in it, you know? Like I didn't get to sit down and enjoy and eat it nicely. It just threw it in my face. And that was that. Um, 
So that's that rant over. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. Like, I was so good. That's interesting. That's the front window, but you can't actually see through it. Because I'm going to assume that clamps on there and goes up and down. I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed if you can't see through the window. Anyway, let's see, where are we? So that goes on the top of there. Give me a click. Come on. Yeah. And then that goes on to there, but that way. Cool. And then that attaches onto the front of the ship. And there we go, that's our little cockpit. Cool. Again, I don't like that you can't see through the window. I guess you kind of have to do that so like it'll actually shut properly. Like that's just how it's made, but. Looks cool though. That's that part done. Cause it would have been cool if you can see Vader sitting in it. You know what I mean? That's just me personally. That's just me nitpicking. I'm loving this so far. That's a, it looks like a really nice set and uh, it's a cool ship, so. Anyway. That's bag number one, done. Um, we're done with that. We can start bag number two, let's do it. Uh, bag number two, number two, number two, number two. Oh, I see it. Not a massive bag, pretty small. Put that there. All right, cool. Um, I think we're making the wings. Um, there's probably another bag for the other wing, right? I can't see us making two wings out of that. Or maybe we do. We'll find out, I guess. So, that. Start with that. Uh, that goes on the end. Let's see how fast I can do this. See if I can pick up the pace a bit. I've got a whole castle to get through. Well, we're not gonna do it in one stream because that would take like forever, but um, we'll certainly get this fighter done today at the very least. <laughs> cool. Uh, then we sandwich that. Nice. Little Lego sandwich. Delish. Uh, oh, some nice big smooth bits. Okay. I'm not really doing that thing that I said I would where I actually like find the bits that I need first. I'm just kind of grabbing from the pile again. Reverting back to old habits. We'll see how long uh, I can keep this up. <laughs> uh, okay, that's that bit, nice and easy. Oh, okay. Um, we put this like donut piece on here. And then we get the big like nail part. I like these, these are always super satisfying, I think. When they find the bite and they just kinda, yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, that felt good. <laughs> and then that goes on its side and that gets stuck in there. Okay, we're uh, getting there. And I presume we're gonna do the same for the other side. Let's see. Do I do two of those? Yeah, I do two of those. Uh, okay, cool. Next one. Now it looks like they get built in the exact same way. I thought you'd kind of, no, yeah, you do. You just, yeah, flip it around, obviously. Right, that's fine. Duh. So. Yes, one of those to start. This is just going to be the same process of what I've just done. I'm just doing the same thing again. We'll get to do that nice satisfying click again though. When I was little, um, when we had Legos, me and my brother, you know, we had just one giant tub filled with like loose pieces because you know, you'd build the Lego set, but you'd end up just destroying it and making your own custom stuff after a while. Um, 
<laughs> and sometimes my mum talks about it. Um, like we just remember the noise the box would make it, you know, with our hands, you know, looking around the box it'd make this such a loud noise of all the bits rattling off each other. And I just thought it was funny because you never really think about it as a kid, but I can see why my mom got annoyed now <laughs> as an adult. But hey, there we go. And same again. That just goes on this side. There we go. Very nice. Okay. So forgive me if I'm wrong, a little bit of Star Wars trivia. Um, I think that the TIE Fighter's wings are like solar panels or something. And that's how they get their energy. Is that right? Because they look like giant solar panels. Um, so they could very well be. Let's see, how do I do this? That goes on there. Oh, that was a good click. Me like, oh yes. That's what I'm talking about. Um. Hang on, did I miss a stage there or something? No, that just goes on there. Okay. Okay, so there's a little black piece that goes on there, I guess. Okay. Doesn't quite look right, but okay. I'll trust it. I'll trust the instructions. Just trust the instructions. We'll be fine. Um... Right, so it's just that. Sorry, this bit's a bit confusing. It's it's left a couple of bits out and kind of left it to the imagination. But uh, then just a the little smooth bit that just goes on there. And that's that. So that's like one half of a wing, I guess. Anyway, we'll find out, I guess. So we do that twice. Let's go back to the start and do that again. Sorry, I'll, I find this with all wings in Star Wars Lego sets. You always end up doing like a lot of repeat situations, like rinse and repeat, when, especially when it comes to the wings. Because obviously your ships are symmetrical, right? So you kind of have to do half and half. Um, so from a building perspective, sometimes it's, it's kind of good because then you kind of know what you're doing, but... Um, I just hope from a viewer perspective, it isn't like, oh, he's got to do that same bit again. Disgusting. And just a little smooth bit again. Sick. Oh, wrong way. Okay, so we've got these two little halves of a wing. So th that one goes on the bottom end there. Wait, I can't be right, that doesn't line up. Have I done it the wrong way around? Maybe I could just... Okay, I've done it the wrong way around, but that's fine, because I can use it as the upper piece, I think, like that. Okay, I think this will still work. <laughs> or will it? Will I have to rejig this? Yeah, because the smooth bit needs to be... That smooth bit needs to be facing the front, I think. Um... I can't have done that wrong though. It looks right to me. That looks the exact same there. No wait, hang on. Oh no, it should be that way. Oh, I have done it wrong. What an idiot. What an idiot. What an absolute fool. What a buffoon. All right, at least those bits were easy to get off. Hang on, so that needs to go on that side. No, it doesn't, you idiot. No, it, yeah, it goes on that side. So that's how it's supposed to look, that way. Uh, and same with the other one, so. 
Uh, if I flip that around, try again. Just make it look like that other one. They're always me saying it's easy when you're repeating a, a certain instruction. I spoke way too soon there. Click. Oh, that was a good click. Oh, double good click. Sheesh. All right. So that goes on the... There we go. Now it lines up. There we go. Now we're talking. Yeah. All right. That looks more like it. And then that one actually goes up here, apparently, according to the instructions. Yeah, it does. There we go. It fits in perfectly. There we go. Looks kind of funky. So I guess now we're going to do the same, but the other way around. I think now we're doing it the way that I just, the wrong way that I done it. We need to make them the wrong way, like I just done for it to be right. Let's see. But watch, I'll still somehow do it wrong though. Right, that does go like that. Ah, oh, I've missed, <laughs> I've missed some bits, hang on. They need to go on there. <laughs> there we go. That looks a lot better. Yeah, same on that side. Sorry, I am clearly not focused this stream. I do apologize. I have made so many errors. I think it's because there's just so many black and gray bits. It's not like the other sets where there's like different colors to kind of separate it in my brain. It's just all the same black and gray skinny bits. Right, so that's better. Okay, let's get it right this time. So definitely that way. That bit definitely goes there. That black bit definitely goes there. And then one smooth black bit definitely goes there. Right, and let's do that again. Last one. Let me just revert that a little bit. Let's see, so that this and that. Ah. Uh, triangle bits. These nice little smooth black bits. Goes on that side. Very cool. And flip it over. Right. Get it right this time. You can do it, Doth Young. There we go. That goes on there. That goes on there. Ah, I missed. And smooth black bit. There we go. Okay, I've definitely done it right that time. There was no messing about. I was on top of that like nothing else. Yeah. And they clip on. Same as the others, obviously. So that goes on there. Oh, it's quite tricky to get on, actually. Hold on. There we go. That's one. And here is two. And well, hey, I think that's Vader's fire. Looks kind of nice. It's a nice little shape. I feel like it could do with some, maybe some stickers over there. I don't remember it being so like just plainly black, but still, it's a it's a pretty decent uh pretty decent representation of that fire, I'd say. Again, the only thing I'd probably the only thing I'd probably criticize about the fire, maybe a bit of like grey coming down here, kind of separating the panels, and a trans an actual see-through window that doesn't just have gray behind it. So you can actually like see Vader sitting in it. Speaking of which, let's put Vader on the inside. Apparently he fits in. Be a bit of a tight squeeze, but let's do it, man. I wonder if you have to take the cape off. 
Or will he just kind of slide in there? Oh, there you go. You just kind of got to stuff him in. <laughs> he only... He barely fits in there, but he's in. <laughs> only just made it in there, but he is in. Oh, that bit fell. Cool. Yeah, I'm happy. Oh, wait, sorry. You guys see that? I'm holding it too far away, aren't I? If I move this up a bit. There we go. Can we angle it like that? Cool. There you go. Yeah. Sweet. I'm happy with that. Now, how long have we been streaming for? An hour. You know what? Why not? Let's start. Maybe we'll, let's start a little bit of the actual castle itself. Because why not? You know? Now, I've kind of bent this cape a little bit. I'm going to try and fix that, actually. Let's try that again. Let's see here. Can I smooth it? There we go. Smooth it out. That's it. Pull it back like that. Then put the helmet on. There we go. That's nicer. This cape comes down a lot nicer. That's it. That's how it's supposed to look. Yeah, I'm very impressed with the, the Vader. The actual, like, I'll, I'll be honest, like, that's not my favorite um, attempt at the tie advanced, but, like, the shape's good. Like I say, just some of the detailing maybe could have been a bit better, but the actual, the detail to Vader himself uh, is freaking awesome. Like, the way they've done his helmet is so cool. I love that. And that's going to be cool, because part of Vader's castle is, um, you know, he sits in that little seat thing that, that actually raises his helmet off, up and down. So that will look well sick with that helmet design. Like, maybe that's why they've done it like that, to make it, like, accurate and make sense, but I like that. I went for a bath. What did I miss? We finished it. We finished it. It looks good. The only thing I was saying I'd critique about it is you can't actually see through the window. It's just gray. So I, I would like like a see-through window. And maybe some slightly better detailing on the wings. Like maybe some stickers to kind of make it look more like the the wings. But the Because uh, it, it, it's just like a big block of black. But, you know, I still like it. I think it's still a good, a really good shot at the tie advanced. I like that. And it's got little guns at the front, so we can stick the red studs in there. And you can actually shoot those studs off with the little triggers there. See if we can shoot Vader with his own ship. Let's see. Oh, I missed. I'll try again. Hey, suck on that, bitch. <laughs> Alright, I better pick up those studs or else uh, they'll get sucked up with the hoover. Ah, okay, here we go. Plenty of ammunition there. I like it. But yeah, pretty, pretty chuffed. Pretty chuffed. And screw it. Um, let's stream for like another 30 minutes or so, I think, and I will... Uh... Start the castle, I guess. Oh, you know what? Bag three? We'll do bag three. Because it just does a little bit of the front. I'll do a little bit of bag three and then uh, we'll call it. Let's see. The Nerf gun flashbacks. Oh, dude. Do you remember those uh, trailers in media class <laughs> with the Nerf guns? Good times. <laughs> All right. Cool. So that's that. Swish. There we go. All right. So yeah, we're, I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're, we're gonna do uh, that bit there, basically. Just the front wall and the little lava, uh, lava fall. I was gonna say lava waterfall, but you know what I mean. Oh, sorry, take a sip of this juice, I'm dying. Oh, that's good. 
Okay. I'll put Vader over here. A very accurate um, TIE fighter sound there. I know that they, I, I was approached by Disney to do the sound effects for the next Star Wars movie. I turned it down because um, it would quite honestly just be too good. Even for Star Wars, so. Right, I put my spare bits in the corner there. Alright, next one. Bag number three. I think that's it right there. Yep, nice. Actually, I realize a problem here, because I put Vader there. I can't put my instructions there. Um, sorry, Vader, you're going on the floor. Or behind the uh, behind the camera. I've got to put you behind the camera. I'm sorry. Right, back three. Look over there. Now I'm excited for this bit. I'm excited for this bit because this will start to give me a sense of how big um, this structure is gonna be. Um, I'm expecting it to be pretty big, so. Let's see. Now these are nice big chunkier bits. I don't, I don't think uh, this will be as hard as the TIE Advance because that was a lot of small delicate pieces, but these are just nice big chunky pieces. And I like that. All right. We're off. So that goes there. Click. Some more gravits. What I thought was interesting is they've chosen like a brown color for the rocks, but I'd say a lot of Mustafar's rocks look more black. Like the planet just looks black and and red. But I don't know. I guess it's hard to tell with that kind of lighting, I guess. But, uh... Yeah. Okay, that goes like that. Okay, and then we have to put some of the river together. I'm excited. I'm excited to put this lava river together. I like the little orange pieces. They look nice. So, one goes on there. Okay. And... These two little bits. It almost looks like a Minecraft. Um, it looks like Minecraft lava. <laughs> you know what I mean? Next page. Get in. Two big gray bits. Awesome. Go right there. I think. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and then... Then a big orange one goes there. This is this one's taking shape very quickly. I love that it's got like nice big pieces. I like that. Then we need two little smooth pieces again. Oh, and this bit. This bit goes... It goes there actually, I think. Yeah, that's nice. You can't, I don't know if you, the camera really picks it up, but it's got nice little kind of broken up texture there to actually make it look more like lava. I like that. That's really nice. Mr. Four is more like obsidian. Yeah, that's what I th thought, right? It's not really like brownie muck color. It's like, it's like black obsidian. That's what I was thinking. But still, still, to be fair, I could easily replace that. And I guess it breaks the set up a bit nice, because, like, the whole castle's black. And I suppose if the rocks were black too, it would just look like one and the same. But, I don't know. That's that's me just trying to give them a free pass, but, you know, I don't really care. You know, like, I, yeah, the, the rocks are black if I want to be accurate, I guess. Although, if I was really that fast, I could change them, you know? Like, I, I, you can go into the LEGO website and just order pieces. Um... 
And we could make like a lore accurate version. Nice, okay, and there's some black bits. On the side there, I think. Oh, wrong way, like that. This is already starting to look really cool. Uh, I like this. It's coming together nice and fast. It's a fair, yeah, it's a fair point. It's a fair point. Yeah, I could, I could see the, the designer sitting down at his computer and maybe actually going for black at first and then just thinking to himself, that just looks like more of the castle just melted at the bottom, <laughs> you know? So I get it. I'll give, I'll give them a pass. We'll give them a pass, eh? You know, they must be stinking rich off of selling this because I, I was having this discussion with uh, my wife, Anne. I was saying, like, um... It's just plastic, like molded in a specific shape. Like, but you guys, you guys will know if you've if you've ever went to try and buy Lego, it's all super expensive. Um, so they must be making like it's it's just cheap plastic, right? It can't be that hard to make. So they they must be making like an absolute steal, really, with this. This front wall's quite big. It's it's certainly uh, it's certainly something. It's quite big. It's length of my hand. I like that. Uh, okay. Oh, I need these two little skinny bits to go on here and here. Nice. Oh, okay, so, okay, now we're building on the other side of the wall. So that's kind of that front part done for now. We're going to do the back. Very nice. We have to play around with some stickers by the looks of it. All right, let's do it. So let's see here. Do you want me to start going, doing it the right way where we grab the bits first? So three of those, three of those, and three of those. And we get to play with the stickers. Hey, stickers. In fact, what stickers are there? This is big round one that looks interesting. It's just one big sticker. I wonder if that's uh, where his back to tank's gonna go. Like his back to tank goes in the middle of that circle maybe. Anyway. So that needs to go on there. And that goes on there. And we do that just three times over. And we'll put the stickers on that bit. Cool. Yo, maybe it would be easier if I put the stickers on first, actually. Let's see. So, sticker number eight. Oh, and sticker number four. Oh, we get to mess around with quite a lot of stickers here. All right. All right. So, they go on that way, like that. I like that. It kind of gives it a bit of texture. I like it, just a bit more extra detail. I like it. And the Lego stickers, they, they seem, they last for years. Like, my mom's still got some of my old Lego sets, if you believe it or not. And like, the stickers are still on. Like, they just stick for years. It's quite impressive, really. Nice, I'm trying to get it as accurate as possible. I'm getting quite good at it now. Oh yeah, Lego makes bank. They've got to, right? Like, surely. I might research that tonight, actually, out of curiosity. Just see if I can find out, get some actual numbers to what kind of a turnover they make from molding cheap plastic and making it look pretty. There, that's those bits. And then, I don't know if you can see that, but it looks quite nice. They go on there. Very cool. Um, okay, now we put these bits on. So they're supposed to be like lights, I guess. And they're going on these nice long bits here. Again, I'm trying to get that as accurate as I can. Okay, that one's a bit wonky. I do apologize. But once it's on, it's on. I don't really like to try and peel it off and do it again because I feel like it will not then stick as well. 
Like, but once it's on that first time, it sticks really well, and I don't want to lose that. Uh, I remember when I um, stopped Lego, it was a Clone Wars ATT Eid. The cockpit kept fell, falling off. So I booted it across my bedroom. <laughs> that was so perfectly timed for me on my end. I just, <laughs> I finished reading the cockpit get fell off. And then the second I finished, the second I finished reading that, the next comment came up. So I booted it across my bedroom. That was so perfectly timed. My goodness, that's funny. Um, okay. Uh, okay, I had to peel that off a bit, a little bit. I really messed it up, though. Okay, it's better if I put it on sideways. Like that. There we go. That'll do. Right, one more sticker. Yeah, never again. I know. I can remember my dad bought us, uh, when we were kids, he got us the Lego Death Star, and, you know, he was getting so frustrated when he built it because, like, the elevator used a string... And it just never worked. The elevator just kept breaking. Uh, he just kind of gave up, I think. But there we go. That's those bits. So they can go on there. So that looks quite nice. Some nice detailing on that. I like it. The sticker... I like the stickers. They, 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 give, uh, they give it some really nice detail. They break up the structure a bit. And I like that. So they go on... Okay, well that one goes there. That one goes uh, there, and that one goes in the middle, like that. I think this wall is the wall for the hangar. Like, I think Vader's ship goes on the bottom level, um, like that. Sorry, I just knocked the camera a bit there. But yeah, I think the, the ship's going to sit in there uh, somehow, but you'll see. This, is, this must go... A taller then because on the picture on the front of the box like the tie fire sits in the bottom level so anyway let's keep building and see what it looks like um oh here we go we need these two long bits next so we're already starting to make it uh bigger uh so they go on uh so they go like along here and kind of level that part out i guess like so. Hey. Next page. Okay, so it works like a step, I guess. So the lava river kind of bends in here and then comes up again. So it's like a kind of like a staircase for the, the lava river, I guess. Okay, there's a lot of delicate pieces, so I'm just going to pull out the pieces that I need and work from there. So we need three of these little pieces. We need these two cream bits. I need one of these. We need two of those. Uh, two of those triangle bits and one of these gray long bits there's so many little bits for this stage that's why I wanted to get them all out first because it just looks so many little tiny bits uh, and two of them black bits sorry just more and more bits just all the bits um, anything else I think that's all of it okay that's all of it So that goes there, that goes there. That goes there, and that goes there. And those spiky bits go on the end. Um. Oh, and then the triangle bits. So they go on top of there. And then the little gray bits go on the side. So I, I, I gotta concentrate for this bit. Um, and then the black bits go on that way. And then 
And then that gets stuck on there, on the back. So it should look like that. Okay. And then that goes on there? Yeah, that goes on that, like that. Just click in. Cool. See what I mean? So the lover of a kind of, it's kind of like stairs. Anyway. Now we need these two little bits. We're going to make like a nice little archway for the river. This bit looks fun. So they go on there. Oh wait, they're way too big. They aren't the right pieces. I need the two little ones of those. There we go. That's better. So they go on there. And then a little archway piece. Which goes on there. That looks kind of cool. You can kind of see it taking shape now. That's really cool. I like that a lot. That lava looks really nice, actually. It does, doesn't it? I like the texture on it. It's really nice. I like that. Very, very, very uh, nice. Very, very, very nice. Let's see. And then we put some black bits over here, which I guess just kind of keep it together, make it a bit stronger. This feels more structural than anything. One more somewhere, should be one more. Oh, am I missing a piece? I might be missing a piece. Um, ah, oh, curses, I'm actually missing a piece, I think. It should be like one more of those long black bits, but uh, I cannot see it. What oh um Hmm I I honestly for real cannot see it. Uh let me do a quick sweep of my table and see if I can find it. It might have just like fallen and I can't see it. Under the laptop or something somehow. No, let me have a quick uh, scan of the room. Or maybe it's still in the bag. Let's see, bag number three. Maybe it's still in the bag. I've missed it. Nah, it's not in there. Oh, I can see it. I can see it in the. It's in the small, delicate pe I found it. Don't worry. We're on it. Crisis averted. It was still in... Uh, or it was. It was just in there. It's gone again. <laughs> oh, it's on the floor. Oh, thank goodness. Found it. We're fine. Crisis averted. <laughs> hey, Darth Vader voice. No. <laughs> oh, honestly, that was me internally. I thought we were legit missing a piece right there. That was, that was almost sad. Okay, next page. We're doing well. Uh, so, oh dang, this, this boy is getting tall quick. Uh, so, we want one of these, one of these, and four of these thick boys. Ah, see, that's easy. So they all just nicely satisfyingly click in there, very nice. Starting to get tall already, I like it. And then these six little skinny black pieces go in like that. I'm tempted, right? Maybe instead of playing Republic Commando, we should totally make this in Minecraft. <laughs> that would be a good stream. Look at that. That is quite nice, actually. It's coming together quite nicely. I like that. And I think that'll do it for this stream, to be honest. Um, we've almost been going for an hour and a half. Um, 
Uh, so I think that will do. So we got that wall done. The tie advanced. And uh, little Vader. Uh, I'm, I'm excited so far. Considering that's only one bag and there's still like seven more bags over there for the castle. I think it's going to look real cool by the time we got it. Um, hey, you got PC space now. Modded Minecraft worlds. Oh, of course. PC has it best, really. <laughs> well, before I finish the stream, uh, we're going to go to my office. And I want to quickly show you what my plan is, actually. So, let's see, hopefully moving this around won't cause the stream to somehow end, I'd hate that. Anyway, we're going for a ride. Let's see. Anyway, this is what I'm working with. I just use my kitchen table like that. And I have my laptop as my, uh, my stream manager, pretty much. Anyway, through we go. I got so much boxes and stuff. We're only just moving in. But anyway, here is my glorious office. Uh, hang on, let me move that chair out of the way. So there's my uh, table over there with my chair. I got an Xbox set up there and whatever. There's my, uh, my helmets. Looking very nice. And my Legos. My Legos are all going to sit on this black cabinet here. Um, Vader's castle's gonna sit like right here and then the other sets can all go underneath like that and then you know it got a nice little Star Wars collection building up so yeah that's gonna be it pretty much for this stream I think but I had a lot of fun that was a lot of fun and uh, all those sets once they're all up there it's gonna look real nice so, there we have it. All right, well guys, uh, thanks very much for watching. Thanks for sticking around. You guys stuck around for the long haul there with me, so I really appreciate that. That was a lot of fun. And uh, we might even continue this tomorrow um, and see where it goes, so yeah. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks for the support. I uh, love you guys, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good night. Bye.